Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this problem, I'm going to talk about a problem from Iranian University entrance exam from 2023. Here we have tangent of x plus cotangent of x given as negative 3. We know that 4x is between 3 pi and 4 pi and we are going to find 1 over power of 3 of cosine of x plus power of 3 of sine of x. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem. To solve this problem, I'm going to start with understanding what I have for the range of x. Let's say we have this 4x between 3 pi and 4 pi. So it means that x is going to be between 3 pi over 4 and 4 pi over 4, which is going to be pi. So in terms of the values that we have for x, if you remember and if we assign that this is cosine of x and this is sine of x then x is going to be between 3 pi over 4 which is going to be here and pi so x is going to be in this region now let's see how we are going to continue with this problem in the problem itself we have 1 over power of 3 of cosine plus power of 3 of sine to simplify this a little bit further, I'm going to write it as 1 over sine of x plus cosine of x times sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x minus sine of x times cosine of x. Now we know that sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x is 1. So what we need to find is basically 1 over sine of x plus cosine of x times 1 minus sine of x cosine of x. Now the thing that we need to find is basically sine of x plus cosine of x and sine of x times cosine of x. Let's see how we are going to solve this. First of all, the thing that we know is tan of x plus cotangent of x is negative 3. If we write tan of x as sine of x over cosine of x, and then if we write cotangent of x as cosine of x over sine of x equals to negative 3, we can simplify and write it as sine squared plus cosine squared, which is going to be 1 over sine of x cosine of x and this is going to be negative 3 so we can say that sine of x cosine of x is going to be minus 1 over 3 so let's keep this here and based on what i have here we can replace it with negative 1 over 3 now if we want to continue and find the second part of this, which is going to be sine of x plus cosine of x, there is going to be a trick here. Let's see how we are going to do that. So to do that, I'm going to do one thing. We are going to find sine of x plus cosine of x. And to find it, I'm going to say, let's value this as A. I'm going to take power of 2 of both sides. It's going to be sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x plus 2 sine x cosine x equals to A squared. And then we know this is 1. And then we also know that sine of x times cosine of x is negative 1 over 3 based on what we found so at the end it's going to be a squared is 1 minus 2 over 3 which is going to be 1 over 3 now it means that a is going to be plus or minus radical 1 over 3 now which one is the case here so to understand it let's go back to what we had before remember we said x is going to be in this region for x to be in this region cosine of x is going to be negative and sine of x is going to be positive 
At the same time, cosine of x is going to be larger in terms of the absolute value. Now, if we go here, we see that since cosine is larger in terms of the magnitude and at the same time it's negative, so sine of x plus cosine of x is going to be negative, so the value that we can accept is basically this negative side. So we can say that sine of x plus cosine of x is going to be negative 1 over radical 3. Now let's go back to where we have the equation. Okay, so the equation itself says that the final value that we need to find is 1 over sine of x plus cosine of x times 1 minus 1 over 3, which is going to be, this value here is going to be 4 over 3. So at the end, what I'm going to do is to find 1 over sine of x plus cosine of x is going to be negative 1 over radical 3 and then the other side is going to be 4 over 3. So if I find this, it's going to be 3 over 4 times radical 3. So at the end, it's going to be negative 0.75 radical 3 and that's the final answer thanks for watching the video if you would like to see more puzzles math involved activities and problems from different math competitions and olympiads please subscribe to this channel this is the sqrt channel and i hope to see you in the next video